A total of six interceptions were thrown in last year's showdown between Florida and Florida State, including this one by Treon Harris to Terrence Smith, who returned it 94 yards for a pick six as the Seminoles came back to win it 24-19. Hi everybody, I'm Ray Crawford here with another edition of the Zephyr Hills Water Break. Jimbo Fisher's 13-1 and one all time against in-state opponents with a lone loss coming against the Gators in 2012. Here to preview the 60th meeting between these two in-state rivals, Florida insider Chris Harry and Florida State insider Tim Linnefeld. Tim, how can the Knolls be balanced against the Gators defense that will try to slow down Dalvin Cook? Well, first and foremost, Florida will hardly be the first defense to try to slow down Dalvin Cook, so I would expect a heavy dose of him no matter what. But an X factor for the game could be receiver Kermit Whitfield. He's got more than 200 yards and four touchdowns in his last two games, and he really excels at short routes in space, and he has world-class sprinter speed. He's a track athlete, and if he get the ball in a little bit of room, he can get going down the sideline pretty quickly. The Gators have been really good at stopping the run this season, just 108 yards a game. That rates eighth, eighth nationally. And as good as the Gators have been this season against the run, they've had some tackling issues. They obviously can't do that against uh, Dalvin Cook. He's going to make them pay if that happens. Chris, what will make quarterback Treon Harris better than Sean McGuire Saturday? Well, Treon could use some help from the defense and the special teams relative to short fields and whatnot because the Florida offense is really, really struggling. They need to hit some stuff downfield to Antonio Callaway. They got, they got a 50-yarder against Florida Atlantic. It hasn't been nearly enough. The Gators are going to need some help from the defense in that regard. Well, uh, it, probably the best thing working in Sean McGuire's favor to take it full circle is, is Dalvin Cook. You know, with, with him running the ball, teams have to force their, you know, force their defenders into the box, stack that line of scrimmage, which only opens up things down the field. We've seen for, for any of, of Sean McGuire's limitations, he's not afraid to, to sling back and, and, and just let it rip down the field and let his receivers go up and make a play. All right, guys, we'll be watching closely. Chris Tim, thanks for the insight. Kickoff Saturday in Gainesville is set for 730. And thanks for watching this edition of the Zephyr Hills Water Break.